Welcome to today's daily devotional reading from the Vitality for Daily Living, authored by the prophet Daniel Ejakwa Fari. Today is Sunday, the third day of September, 2023. And our topic for today is, Your flesh can hinder your faith. Our anchor scripture is taken from Matthew chapter 4, the verse 3 and 4, and I read. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If you are the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. But Jesus said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Now today's inspiration. In this world, things can satisfy the flesh, block your faith. Faith has its own opposition. If not for that, God would not call it a fight. You fight because there are resistance or blockage to your pursuits. Faith is the only weapon to confront the oppositions, hence a target of destruction by Satan. Many are the devices the enemy has set to oppose our faith with and one of them is our flesh. From the scripture above, Jesus was hungry and the body was naturally weak and needed energy. The devil tempted him with the weakness of his flesh by tempting him with bread. This is the last of the flesh for food. Jesus, however, thought asked by his answer that bread is not the only source of energy for the flesh but that every word of God is a source of energy. This energy is the energy of faith. That is why Satan would do everything in his capacity to come for the word after we have received the word of God. He knows that once the word is allowed to process fruit faith would be generated and this faith energy when released through spoken words can destroy his evil network and threaten his very existence and operations on earth. He therefore employs the domicile body of the flesh of the human spirit to fight the word. Physical food is not the only bait for fleshly desires, but the uncontrolled taste for alcohol, sex, and solical satisfactions of life. Note how Jesus answered Satan. He began by saying, it is written. He was using the written word called Logos, but this did not stop Satan from coming back to tempt him again. Many Christians have considered their flesh and neglected the word of God, which produces faith to overcome the enemy. But the amount of the word in you determines your ability to overcome your flesh and stop Satan from tempting you as Jesus did. Our flesh is weak and it can only be sustained by the word of God. If you are a believer, don't be lazy to study, listen, and meditate on the word of God, for that will build your faith, for faith cometh by hearing, and hearing the word of God. Shall we pray? Father, by your word, strengthen me to overcome every opposition of faith, the enemy will throw at me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now to read the Bible in one year for today, please read Proverbs chapters 3 and 4 and 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Thank you and God bless you. See you tomorrow.